Right now, a new relief package for Americans. What's in the bill and its chances of passing? Plus, how taking out money from your 401k for some extra financial relief could cost you tens of thousands in the future. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good morning, folks. Hope your Wednesday is starting off well. It is May 13th. I'm Leah Lynchide, along with Josh Breider and Chris Stanford. We start this morning with a new CNN poll out this morning that shows most people wouldn't be comfortable if things went back to normal. 58% of those polled say they would not be in favor of a system that didn't involve social distancing. That's down 2% from last month. 41% of poll takers say they want things to get back to the way they were and think we're ready to do that. Meanwhile, the latest Marquette Law School poll shows something similar here in Wisconsin, with a majority of residents still in support of the governor's safer at home order. Support is declining, though. In March, 86% of people responding said the order was appropriate. Now, six weeks later, that number is down to 69%. We're still waiting on a state Supreme Court ruling on whether the order extension to May 26 is even legal. Now, this comes as we near 11,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 across the state, with nearly 300 new cases confirmed in the last 24 hours. The DHS expects that case number to continue to rise until a vaccine is approved. Though that number continues to grow this morning, we've now met five of the six criteria to the Badger bounce back plan. Take a look at these six requirements right here. The only mark we haven't hit yet is the downward trajectory of flu-like illnesses over the last 14 days. Now these are subject to change on a day-to-day -day basis. We are now two days away from a possible vote in Congress on a second economic stimulus package, the HEROES Act, as it's called. It includes $3,000 that would provide additional payments of $1,200 to Americans. It was written by Democrats. Newsweek reports the bill would also extend federal unemployment benefits through January, boost pay for essential workers, and give $75 billion towards efforts in tracing, treating, and testing for the coronavirus. Now, House Majority Leader Nancy Pelosi says lawmakers should think big when working toward recovery. Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, however, has indicated that the bill will not pass the Senate, saying that this is, quote, not the time for aspirational legislation. New this morning, fossil fuel companies are set for a big payday under new plans from the government. At least 90 companies stand to gain from the Federal Reserve's bond buyback program. That deal is expected to be worth at least $750 billion. It's unclear how much of that would go to fossil fuel companies. The Guardian reports that payout could come by September. And as more Americans lose work and look for ways to make ends meet, taking money or borrowing from your 401k account can sound tempting. But financial experts warn that is almost never a good idea. Christina Lori is here to explain the risks and alternatives. Good morning, Leah and Chris. It's as simple as this. You're stealing from your future. A new report from Vanguard shows that, that if you take out $10,000 today from your 401k, you're stealing from what could become more than $57,000 in the next 30 years. So even though the government has temporarily suspended the 10% penalty, usually imposed on early withdrawals during the pandemic, financial advisors warn, do not touch your money. Retirement accounts depend on compound interest to grow, which means the longer you leave your money alone, the better. Taking money out of your account now could hurt the balance you'll have saved once you retire, even if you replace it later. Advisors stress the importance of considering all of your other options first. Personal loans, credit cards, and home equity loans. Also consider your ability to repay the loan quickly and how possible it would be to add more to your retirement account to make up for losses. If you are in a really tough spot financially, and many of us are right now, there are five questions you should be able to answer before taking money out of your 401k. I'll share those ahead at 530. All right, thank you, Christina. Meantime, we are learning more this morning about that plan from the CDC that laid out expert recommendations to safely reopen the U.S. economy. You may remember the Trump administration threw that plan out nearly two weeks ago. The 63-page document called for a coordinated national response between federal, state, and local governments. 
The White House plans. Uh, the White House plan uses some of those recommendations from the CDC, but does ultimately leave decisions to reopen up to state governors. A defense company out $55 million this morning after failing to produce 10 million N95 masks for FEMA. The Washington Post reports the company was to deliver those masks to the government on May 1st. Last month, they told the Post they anticipated being ahead of schedule, aiming to deliver those masks two weeks early. Then on May 1st, the company asked for a 10-day extension, and just yesterday, they asked for an additional four days. FEMA ended up pulling the contract. Hospital systems are working together right now to help with their own shortages of PPE by holding an online swap meet. The hospitals say that they're working to help fill in the gaps of what they don't have. It also eases the financial burden of buying supplies, allowing hospitals and doctor's offices to stay afloat as they wait for government help. According to The Hill, right now hospitals are using at least three different online swap platforms. America's three largest airlines say they won't force passengers to wear face masks during flights. Delta American and United all say they will deny anyone not wearing a mask when they're boarding, but once the plane is actually in the sky, enforcement becomes a little more difficult. They say flight attendants will request that passengers respect face mask policies, but if they choose not to wear one, there isn't much they can do. If you do have plans to fly soon, your bags might not be the only thing getting checked. Several airlines and organizations are pushing for TSA to add temperature checkpoints to their screening process. USA Today says the temperature check wouldn't be invasive. They'd use something like a thermal camera or infrared thermometer held near your forehead. Right now, Frontier Airlines and Air Canada, as well as an airport in Washington State, are already monitoring the temperatures of their travelers. 606, speaking of temperature checks, boy, that outlook's looking pretty good for us lately here. It certainly is. Take a look at this map produced by the Climate Prediction Center, indicating a pretty good chance for above normal temperatures as we go through the end of May. Cooler than normal out in the west, but from the central plains all the way to the east coast, we're looking at warmer than normal conditions. And that is good news. That means maybe this is the last time we have to talk about frost advisories. Again, in effect for parts of our viewing area until 8 o'clock this morning. It is a chilly start to the day. Even here in Madison at the airport, it's 32 degrees, 35 in Watertown, in Janesville and Platteville. You start at 37 this morning. Temperatures should warm pretty quickly, though. We have sunshine across the region. Take a look at your weather track uh, map. You'll see that the cloud cover a little bit thicker across Minnesota and Iowa, but some of those high-level cirrus clouds are now starting to spread into Wisconsin. So look for the sunshine to give way to clouds through the afternoon. There is the potential for some thunderstorms tonight, but our risk for severe weather very low. In fact, just a marginal risk south of the state line as we go through the next 24 hours. Here's your future track forecast model showing you when exactly that rain is going to move in. Again, at least we get sunshine this morning, but look for clouds this afternoon. By 5 o'clock, the bulk of the rain still well back west of the Mississippi River Valley, probably moving into southern Wisconsin sometime after dark. So it will be kind of a wet night across the area. Showers and the clouds, even a few thunderstorms expected overnight. That will keep temperatures quite a bit warmer for the overnight hours as well. Now the potential for rain starts to diminish on Thursday, but can't rule out some showers or even isolated thunderstorms into the afternoon. But for today, enjoy 60s once again, low 60s for highs later on this afternoon. That extended forecast has us into the 70s then on Thursday and Friday. Friday definitely looks like the best day with high of 72 degrees under partly sunny skies. Over the weekend, we're back to highs in the 60s. Pretty close to normal, though, for this time of the year. There will be a chance for rain late Saturday into Sunday morning. Still on track for 80s, though, next week. Okay, thank you, Hattie. Facebook says it removed nearly 5 million posts connected to hate organizations in the first three months of this year. They say they're relying more now on technology to help identify and remove hateful content. In its latest community standards enforcement report, the company added that it put warning labels on about 50 million pieces of content related to COVID-19. Facebook is also reportedly settling a lawsuit for $52 million with its content moderators. They've agreed to pay thousands of workers who suffered psychological harm while reviewing disturbing posts, things like suicide, murder, and child abuse. A former moderator had sued Facebook back in 2018, alleging that she suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder after reviewing content of rape, murder, and animal cruelty. She claimed the company didn't provide a safe workplace. Facebook has not admitted or denied these claims. 
Twitter will be allowing employees to work from home for as long as they want. CEO Jack Dorsey says his employees will be allowed to work from home even after the pandemic ends. In an email, Dorsey said it was unlikely Twitter would open its offices before September. All in-person events have been canceled for the remainder of the year. I'd miss going to work too much. I, I yeah. can't handle being alone for that long. You can see why they'd want to do it, though. Walmart and Sam's Club employees, meantime, will receive another round of cash bonuses next month. The company says it'll spend more than $390 million to reward hourly employees for keeping up with demand during the pandemic. Full-time workers will get an extra $300. bucks. part timers will get $150. The company previously announced that it was hiring another 200,000 employees to keep up with all the extra business. 609 right now, the Princeton Club is preparing to reopen its gym soon. The company sent members a reopening playbook that includes cleaning and disinfection information. Exercise equipment has been spaced out to allow for social distancing and one-way traffic markings are on place on the floor now. Members will have access to antibacterial wipes and carry their own disinfectant sprays and towels with them during the workout instead of sharing those items. How do you feel about this? Well, hey, I mean, it sounds like they're being cautious. Right. Yeah, they're, they're putting those extra steps into place. It's part of, you know, turning that dial. Fitness is my hobby, so not having this has been horrendous for me for and the I'm last sure couple of months. There will be some people that stay home. It's fine. You know, I think it's going to be everyone's comfort level, right? So mm -hmm. those that want to go, good. Just take those extra precautions. If you want to stay home, good as well. Just do you, right? Some good advice. All right. 10 minutes past 6 o'clock right now. Let's take a look at the roads this morning. Happy Wednesday if you're just waking up. Seeing a few more delays popping up along East Washington Avenue just near downtown this morning. Also the Stoughton Road. And if you're hopping on the Beltline this morning, closer to look at that, no real problems. Just a couple of delays popping up from Stoughton Road to Minota Drive, but you you shouldn't see too many issues as you head out this morning. That is your first warn traffic. All right, still ahead for us on this Wednesday morning. We'll tell you which country is putting a restart to its school year on hold this morning and why. And healthcare providers in the Madison area are increasing capabilities for antibody testing. We'll tell you why that's important and where you can go to get results. It's 611, you're watching News 3 now this morning. Garden centers are open to help you start the growing season. For a limited time, get a free bag of raised bed mix with the purchase of two. Shop now at all five John Garden Center locations. Get your growing season off to a safe and healthy start with John Garden Center. We're eating and drinking foods and beverages that are very acidic. It can soften the enamel. Pronamel repair, what it's doing is driving more minerals deep into the enamel surface that's going to help actively repair. Pronamel is taking it to another level. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection remains open to serve our customers and communities during these times of uncertainty. During Safer at Home, we've got you covered for all your plumbing service needs. Call us for help. We are here for you. From plants to patio sets, Fleet Farm has everything you need for spring fever. Whether it's checking chores off your list or checking out a new grill, Fleet Farm has spring savings on things like mix or match annual flowers and vegetables, just $19.99. And Scott's Cutter Stay Mulch, four bags for $10. That's why people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Fleet Farm, built for real life. We've got the power. It's deer season at the Power Centers of Madison. John Deere Compact Utility Tractors have the power and versatility to tackle the biggest jobs on your list. Multiple attachments are available, extremely easy to operate, control, and finesse. Make home and garden work fun with John Deere mowers. Mow, mulch, and haul your way to a beautiful yard. Get your John Deere now at the Power Centers of Madison. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model. All he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful. That's all it takes. Tightens the skin and smooths it out. Gently rub it underneath your eyes on your fine lines and wrinkles and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. You know, I felt something happening, but I had no idea. Like, I have so many dark circles. I have the puffiness. I have the lines. Like, it's amazing. Holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> 
I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. Take action with the Plexiderm 10-Minute Challenge. This Mother's Day, get up to 50% off the normal retail price. Plus, get free shipping. Visit Plexiderm.com or call the number on your screen. John Garden Centers are open to help you start the growing season. For a limited time, get a free bag of raised bed mix with the purchase of two. Shop now at all five John Garden Center locations. Get your growing season off to a safe and healthy start with John Garden Center. Developing this morning, officials in Wuhan, China are launching what's being called a 10-day battle after a new cluster of coronavirus cases. Every citizen of that city, 11 million people, will be tested in a 10-day period. It's unclear when the testing, testing will begin. Six new infections have been reported in the city since the lockdown was lifted last month. Start to its school year on hold this morning as fear of a second wave continues. Those fears are brought on by an outbreak of new cases tied to several nightclubs in the nation's capital. So far, at least 102 new cases are tied to that incident. Schools were originally set to restart today, delayed from their original start in March. No word yet on when they plan to attempt reopening again. More delays on reopening here in the U.S. The coronavirus has Broadway shows on hold until at least early September. The Broadway League is offering exchanges and refunds for purchases made through September 6th. Those who bought tickets will be sent an email with information on how to get their money back. Touring performances are also affected by the pandemic. More information can be found at broadway.org. Don't worry though, you can still get your musical fix. Disney is fast tracking its premiere of the filmed version of the original Broadway production, Hamilton. The acclaimed musical will be streaming on Disney Plus starting July 3rd. The film will feature Hamilton's original cast, including the creator, Lin-Manuel Miranda. You were genuinely shocked that I had not seen Hamilton. It turns out you're in the minority, Leah. <laughs> because what, Hattie? And Josh. Typical. Like, none of us people? have seen it. What is wrong with you people? I've got kids. always in the minority. Get some culture. What's going kid. on here? You, you pay for my babysitter for three <laughs> kids for the night to go take a trip to go see Hamilton. Plus, yeah, you can pay for my ticket, too. They were expensive. Yeah. They were not cheap. Okay, I'll let you all pass, but as soon as this is streaming, you have no oh, excuse. Thanks. That's true. Thanks. I do have You're Disney welcome. Plus, so maybe I'll give it a shot. I don't even have Disney Plus. Well, well, like... we'll have to have a party when social distancing is over, everyone. <laughs> all right. Help Six... me out, Josh. Yes, yeah, so I'll help you out. 616 right now. You're helping us out with a beautiful forecast. Finally, some more, like, typical temperatures for this time of the year. <laughs> Starts to feel like May, which yeah, is a good really. thing. 13 days into the month, finally feeling like May. We do have mostly clear skies in the area this morning. Just a little bit of cloud cover in Platteville uh, from our Queen Bee Radio Sky Camera. Should be a nice start to the day. Temperatures are a little chilly this morning. We are down in the 30s, 37 in Platteville and Monroe, as well as Janesville. 32 here in Madison. We're actually one of the colder spots this morning. It is going to be a little breezy today, but at least those winds are from the south. Southeasterly wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour this afternoon will make Make it a little windy at times, but temperatures will still be on the mild side. Here's a look at your day planner temps climbing into the 40s pretty quickly this morning through the 50s into the low 60s this afternoon. We do have rain in the forecast, but it looks like our best chance here in Madison will be after dark tonight. So we squeak out one more dry day for the area. All right, Hattie, thank you. We've got some breaking news within the last few minutes here. The CDC is set to issue a new warning today that will alert doctors to a new syndrome affecting children that could be related to the coronavirus. They're asking doctors to be on the lookout for symptoms that include a persistent fever, inflammation, and poor function in organs. An informal panel of pediatricians are calling it pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome potential uh, associated with COVID-19. The CDC says they are working to provide a more defined description of what cases look like, what it is, and if it is in fact associated with the coronavirus. All three major healthcare providers in Madison are now offering antibody testing. SSM Health, Unity Point Health, and UW Health say it's now available to their patients. It is a blood test that can indicate if you were previously infected with a specific germ, in this case, COVID-19. So some people with COVID-19 have extremely mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. The antibody test can help identify those 
who were infected but didn't know it. Not only are healthcare professionals on the front lines of the battle against COVID-19, they're also continuing to treat patients with other life-threatening needs. Sarah and Christian Schartner have been at American Family Children's Hospital now for a month. In the midst of the pandemic, they needed help for their newborn son, who was in need of a liver transplant. Late last month, the Sauk Prairie family received a call that there was an organ donor for Calvin, and later that day, they completed the transplant. No small feat during any normal time. The entire procedure went off without a hitch, even in the midst of a pandemic. We've taken such good care of using extra precautions around our son and making sure the rooms are really clean and with checking in with everyone in the hospital every day for temperatures, any symptoms. Like, I felt like things have been really, really um, well taken care of and people use such good caution. Even though mom and dad say Kelvin will need to be on medication for the rest of his life, they're so grateful he's been given this chance. It's a miraculous story. Incredible. Uh, incredible to hear that. Uh, physical therapist in Madison is trying to help out healthcare workers. Frida Showalter is sewing gowns. She wants to make a hundred of them for local nurses, CNAs, and physical therapists. Frida says that she's doing this because she started seeing workers reuse gowns because there weren't enough. She has a Facebook page set up right now, inviting people in the community to donate supplies and help sew. I had gotten a lot of donations, more donations than I could personally sew myself. And that's when I decided that if I had a Facebook group and got a team of sewers, I could get a lot more done. If you'd like to join the effort, search for the Facebook group Be an Emergency PPE Seamstress. Showalter says even if you don't sew, there are plenty of other ways to help. You could cut and tape the gown patterns or wash and iron donated sheets. I'm glad she added that little bit in there because I'm certainly not a sewer. I can cut though. There you go. It not too bad. It doesn't take much to co and you know, cut and tape things, right? Everybody's got to step up. Anybody could do it. Yeah. Even Leah. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes past 6 o'clock on a Wednesday. Coming up, we've got the winner of yesterday's Safe at Home Challenge. And in the next half hour, today is the deadline to get direct deposit information uh, into the IRS for your stimulus check. What you need to do to make that happen. It's 621. Stay with us. There's more News 3 Now this morning just ahead. With a nursing degree, helping others went from a job to a career. At Machinery Row Bicycles, you'll find Wisconsin's largest selection of mountain and fat bicycles from Moots, Giant, Felt, and Trek. Trek has an awesome lineup of cross-country trail, fat, and plus bicycles. Great for single track racing or shredding up some gnarly trails. The place to shop for the world's most beautiful bicycles is Machinery Row Bicycles, the most beautiful bicycle store in the world. Service is included with your Machinery Row Bicycle. So many fun things to look at and bicycles to test ride on the bicycle path by the lake at Machinery Row Bicycles. Work smarter. Use the cloud to securely print, scan, and collaborate. GI Office Technologies, helping businesses like yours. It's time to freshen up around your yard. This year, don't struggle with bulky bags of mulch. Call JR. JR's mulch sales is spreading around. Carrier asks, what does comfort mean to you? A cool breeze on a scorching day, a cozy corner on a cold night, or knowing every room of the house is as inviting as the next. Comfort means more than just the temperature, and the people who invented modern air conditioning keep inventing new ways to make you comfortable, like cool cash rebates of up to $1,650. Carrier, turn to the experts. Leading edge heating and air conditioning serving the Madison area. In Jefferson and surrounding counties called Jensen Plumbing and Heating. We asked real customers what they really love about Spectrum Internet and TV. Spectrum Internet has the fastest speeds for everything I do. There is no turning wheel. It's immediate. Spectrum is the fastest. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fastest download speeds with the most reliable performance with Spectrum Internet, delivering starting speeds of 200 megabits. That's more than enough for all your devices for $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. I can't get over how much on-demand Spectrum has. I can literally watch a new movie every night. I got all my shows and he's got all his shows. With the Spectrum TV app, I can watch live TV anywhere. It's perfect. Add Spectrum TV and enjoy more free HD and more free on demand. Plus use the Spectrum TV app to watch live TV on the go. All from
from $44.99 a month. Call 833-906-4499. The fact that they don't have contracts, that says a lot about their service. Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each with no contracts. Install Spectrum services yourself. Get a self-installation kit shipped right to your home. Call 833-906-4499. At the Brothers Main, we're on a mission to deliver more brands, more selection, and more savings on more appliances. See for yourself at the Brothers Main, your local store for more since 1938. We know you're worried about keeping your family healthy right now. We're all craving sunnier skies and warmer temperatures. But as we move into spring, you should know our First Warren weather team is preparing to keep your family safe during severe weather season. We're ready. Armed with the latest First Warren technology and an experienced team of meteorologists. So focus on your family. Your First Warren team has the weather covered. On air, online, and on your phone. Trust the weather leaders. The First Warren weather team on News 3 Now at Channel 3000. Welcome back at 624 this morning. Time to take a look at some of the winners or the winner of yesterday's Safe at Home Challenge. So we asked you to send in your pictures of a bicycle adventure. And here's today's winner. Ooh. Uh, little, three little kiddos there. You got the kiddo in the, the little pull-behind cart. He's not going to give me one of those. Good inspiration yeah. for your family. This is how I would ride a bike in a cart. If you guys want to cart me around. <laughs> <laughs> those things are heavy. I've pulled more of those really for many years. Especially with the 130 pound female <laughs> in there. I won't make you do that. Uh, good stuff. Uh, so uh, the winner is going to get a gift card to a local business. So thanks for sending that one in. And with the weather warming up, we want you to show off your sweet tooth. Show us your favorite kind of ice cream and how you're enjoying it right now. Ooh, this is going to make me hungry. Be sure to head over to our website, channel3000.com slash safe at home to send in your submissions. What are your favorite uh, ice cream flavors? Mine's butter brickle. Butter brickle? I've never even heard of that. Mint chocolate chip. What's butter brickle? It's like, <laughs> explain it for us. It's like <laughs> butter pecan, but butter brickle. I don't know, it's hard to explain. <laughs> doesn't even know. <laughs> but it's good. He knows that. Good. Okay. That's all I know. Uh, I'm, I'm really boring. I am twist, soft serve, and a cake cone. Okay. Oh, that's very specific, yeah. though. That's where it's at, man. I'm worse. I'm, I'm vanilla you. with chocolate sauce. Sprinkles, like chocolate, chocolate sauce. sauce. Yeah, no okay. sprinkles. I don't like the change of <laughs> textures. But like, you know, sprinkles. Ew. You get very, <laughs> Take it out. Very What's wrong with you people? All right, well, here's Lincoln Edgerton. This is our pet walk forecast for today. Love to see the green grass outside enjoying the sunshine as well. We do start with a frost advisory in the area this morning. Temperatures, though, are going to be climbing into the 60s this afternoon. Thanks, Addie. Stay with us. We're back right after the break. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Admit it, you just don't have time for mowing. At Barnes, we take pride in our attention to details like straight mowing lines and spotless paved areas. From planting to pruning, seeding to sodding, mowing to mulching, and everything in between, we are Barnes. Get started today at BarnesInc.net. You were always the responsible one. So much like me, always taking care of everyone else. But this, this wasn't your responsibility. I already took care of the arrangements. The Ryans made it so easy. I didn't want you to worry about a thing. It's my last gift to you, my lovely daughter. It's totally normal to have constipation with belly pain, straining, and bloating again and again. No way. More exercise, more water, and more fiber is the only way to manage it. Is it? Maybe you think it's occasional constipation. Maybe it's not. It could be a chronic medical condition called IBSC and time to say yes to Linzess. Linzess works differently than laxatives. It helps relieve belly pain and lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements. Do not give Linzess to children less than six, and it should not be given to children six to less than 18. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Change your thinking to IBSC. If your constipation and belly pain keeps coming back, tell your doctor and say yes to Linzess. 
CSR Concrete Coatings is the nation's largest residential concrete coating company, proudly serving homeowners throughout Wisconsin. Our coatings are four times stronger than regular epoxy and won't chip, crack, or peel. They're impact resistant and UV stable. Our unique process begins with a base coat to seal cracks and level the surface, then flakes in the color pattern of your choice. A top coat is applied for a durable finished floor that can be installed in as little as one day. Act now to save 15% on your concrete coating project. Ask about 12 months, same as cash financing. TSR Nation is growing by the day with satisfied customers throughout Wisconsin, and we want you to be a part of it. As a special bonus, call during this program and receive a free TSR swag pack with your concrete coating project. Call 1-800-886-8411. That's 1-800-886-8411. Admit it, you just don't have time for mowing. At Barnes, we take pride in our attention to details like straight mowing lines and spotless paved areas. From planting to pruning, seeding to sodding, mowing to mulching, and everything in between, we are Barnes. Get started today at BarnesInc.net. Breaking overnight, former Vice President Joe Biden is several delegates closer to clinching the Democratic nomination for president this morning. I've got the latest ahead. And rain is in our forecast later today. I'll tell you when you'll need the umbrella in just a few minutes. This is News 3 Now This Morning. Good Wednesday morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us. It is May 13th. I'm Josh Breider with Chris Stanford and Leah Linscheid. We start this morning with some breaking news from overnight. Joe Biden is the projected winner of Nebraska's primary. CBS News estimates the former vice president picked up at least another 20 delegates out of the 33 upper grabs. That brings him just over 500 delegates away from clinching the nomination. Voters showed up in person at the polls, even though the state encouraged voters to send their ballots in by mail. Polling precincts in that state say it was some of the lowest turnout they've seen in years. Three quarters of regular primary voters requested ballots by mail. Meanwhile, voters in Wisconsin also went to the polls voting in a special election to fill former Representative Sean Duffy's seat. Republican State Senator Tom Tiffany easily won over Democrat Trisha Zunker. Tiffany is backed by President Trump, who won the 7th Congressional District by 20% in 2016. Now, this was Wisconsin's second election in the state during the coronavirus pandemic. Looking ahead now to the general election in November, voting could look really different, but most Wisconsinites do want the option to physically go to the polls. A new Marquette Law School poll shows 57% of registered voters say it's important to have in-person voting along with the vote by mail option. 36% want the election to be done entirely by mail. When it comes to how folks think they personally will vote, 43% say they'll vote absentee by mail, 39% plan to vote in person on election day, and 11% will vote early in person. Now, when it comes to who voters are backing, it's a close race. Joe Biden still holds a 3% lead over President Trump, 48 to 45%, but that is within the margin of error of 4%. Biden has an advantage over Trump among the youngest voters between 18 and 29 and the oldest voters, 60 years or older. Folks who are 30 to 59 year old do favor President Trump. If you still haven't received your stimulus check and want it to be deposited into your bank account, you have to visit the IRS website today. At 11 o'clock our time this morning, the agency will start prepping millions of files for paper checks. Those should be in mailboxes between late May or uh, June sometime. This is important. Uh, the government cannot provide direct deposits once that process is started. So again, by 11 o'clock this morning, you wanna go to the Get My Payment tool on the IRS website and make sure your direct deposit information is correct. About 130 million payments have already been sent out. Now we've received a lot of questions from people asking if taxes will be taken out of those payments. The money is tax free and will not impact your tax refund. According to CNN, if you end up making more than the threshold this year, you won't have to return the stimulus money. And if you don't qualify based on your previous earnings but end up making below the threshold this year, you will get your stimulus payment when you file your 2020 tax returns. The city of Janesville is posting its highest unemployment rate since the 2008 recession at 10%. This is about a 7% uptick from the unemployment rate at this time last year, which was at a record low of 3% in Rock County. The latest study by market analyst Money Geek suggests the unemployment rate could reach up to 26% in Rock County. Here's what local economists had to say about that forecast. It would take a wholesale shutdown of 
many seg segments of the economy to get to that kind of number. And I just don't believe that considering that we have completely diversified our economy since 2008, I don't see us getting to that. The best way you can help, pretty simple here, continue to shop local and support your area businesses as much as you can right now. There are plenty of reasons to avoid taking money out of your retirement savings before you retire, but for some people who've been out of work for nearly two months, that might feel like the only option right now. Christina Laurie joins us this morning with more. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Josh. Taking money out of your retirement savings, even with the 10% penalty removed, is not something to take lightly. You don't want to satisfy a short-term need in exchange for damaging your own long-term best interests. So Forbes has put together a list of five questions you should ask yourself first. Number one is, do you really need it and do you really need it now? Ask yourself if the expenses you'll cover with the money are both immediate and essential. If they are, ask yourself if you have any other money to use first. Lots of people have emergency savings or rainy day funds. For many people, this is that emergency. Use those savings. If that money still isn't enough, ask whoever is handling your finances to stop any automatic contributions to your savings accounts. Yes, you heard that right. Stop saving. Right now, it's more important to put food on your table than to contribute to your long-term retirement account. You can always catch up with your savings later, but you can't if you starve yourself. Two more questions to ask. If you're a homeowner, reach out to a financial advisor and ask if you can refinance. Consider applying now while rates are still low. And if you're a renter, reach out to your landlord and ask if you can renegotiate your rent. Offer something to help sweeten the deal like signing a longer lease or giving up the parking space that comes with your unit. The bottom line is don't withdraw money from your 401k unless you absolutely have to. A report from Vanguard shows that if you take out $10,000 today, you're stealing from what could have become more than $57,000 in 30 years. All right, Christina Laurie, thank you. 635. Members of the U.S. House are expected to vote on a $3 trillion stimulus bill later this week. The legislation provides funding for state and local governments, coronavirus testing, and a new round of direct payments to Americans. No. Senate Republicans are against this bill, though, and progressive Democrats are frustrated that it doesn't include recurring monthly payments. Wisconsin Representative Mark Pocan sent a letter to Nancy Pelosi asking to delay this vote until next week. His Congressional Progressive Caucus wants more time to review the plan. Help for Wisconsin farmers and ag industries could come as soon as today. Wisconsin is slated to get almost $2 billion of federal money from the CARES Act to help with the COVID-19 response here. Governor Evers is expected to release his plans for that money later this week. He wouldn't give a specific dollar amount, but he did say more help will have to come from the federal government. All right, 636. Lee, you ready for this? I have the official description of butter brickle ice cream. Oh, brother. A registered trademark of toffee ice cream flavoring of a toffee-centered chocolate-covered candy bar similar to the Heath Bar. Okay. There it is. Good. I don't know what to say. It's good. Sue Gallmeyer, our director, also says that's her favorite ice cream, too. you got to try it. I'm going to have to go buy some for you. At least we've got a nice forecast for ice cream eating, regardless of what you like, butter brickle or whatever the heck it's called. I think that's what I always think of right away. As soon as <laughs> we have nice weather, I'm like, where am I going to go get ice cream at? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Priorities. We do have lots of options here in Madison. You may want to hold off just a little bit. Still frost advisories in effect for parts of the area yet this morning. This should be the last morning, though, that we're talking talking about frost. Here's a look at our current temperatures. We've been at 32 for the last couple of hours in the airport here in Madison, 37 in Janesville. It's actually warming in the Dells to 40 degrees right now, but Camp Douglas is at just 30. Our low temperature trend over the next 10 nights, this is what it looks like. We're going into the 50s tonight, or I should say staying in the 50s, and then over the next 10 nights, temperatures aren't even close to the freezing point. So it should be safe now to put any sensitive plants back outside and hopefully leave them there until the fall. Weather track is showing you that high pressure in control, but the core of the coldest air is moving off to our east this morning. We turn our attention to the west, where a developing storm system is producing some showers across the Dakotas. They're moving into Minnesota right now. These showers are eventually going to spread into southern Wisconsin, but it'll take some time doing so. We have clear skies right now and a southeasterly wind today that's really going to be pushing back that rain through the day. So we'll keep sunshine through the morning.
morning hours. Temperatures climbing into the upper 50s, close to 60 by lunchtime. During the afternoon, look for an increase in the clouds across southern Wisconsin. A few sprinkles will be possible, but most areas stay dry. Highs will be back in the 60s later on today. Now after 8 o'clock, that's when their best chance for those showers to cross the Mississippi River Valley. They'll spread across the entire area pretty quickly this evening. And the overnight hours, you may hear some rumbles of thunder, but no severe weather is expected. The threat for rain continues then on and off through the day on Thursday. Temperatures, though, will at least be in the 60s. Your future track potential for rain is indicating many parts of the area could get close to a half an inch or a third to half an inch, but higher amounts are expected in far southern and south southeastern Wisconsin. Here's a look at your extended forecast. 70s for highs tomorrow and on Friday. Friday looks to be the best day with partly sunny skies and a high of 72. Not bad this weekend. You should be able to dodge those raindrops. Best chance will be later on Saturday into early Sunday. Sliding on into summer. Thank you very much, Hans. New this morning, your groceries are getting more expensive by the highest margins in half a century. The Labor Department says prices of staples like eggs, meats, and cereals shot up by the most in nearly 50 years. Eggs are priciest, with costs up by up to 16%. Grocery stores seem to be alone in those price increases, though most industries saw declines last month. Los Angeles County's stay-at-home order is expected to be extended, and it could last through most of the summer. The California County's public health director said that the orders will, with all certainty, be extended. How long the order lasts, though, depends on conditions. The Los Angeles Times reports that restrictions will be gradually relaxed under a five-step plan during that time. The county is the epicenter of coronavirus in California with more than 1,300 deaths. 640 right now. I've definitely been noticing some more traffic out on the roads recently, but we still don't have many issues to talk about on the roads. A couple delays on East Washington Avenue and the usual delays over near Stoughton Road in the Beltline. Rock County, much of the same. Couple delays just north of Janesville on the interstate, but other than that, no major issues this morning. Let's take a live look outside. 640 on a Wednesday morning. Look at that. Beautiful shot right there. Perfect day to get outside. Hattie's going to have more about some good temperatures coming up here in just a few minutes. Garden mats eliminate 90% of the time spent working in the garden and increase a garden's productivity by 10 to 20%. Garden mats let air and water through but block sunlight. The pre-measured holes make planting a breeze. We help people grow 100% organic vegetables weed-free. Garden mats give us our summers back to do the things we love. Go to gardenmats.com. RHD Plumbing has the most reliable professionals in the industry. With honesty you can trust to deliver quality products and workmanship dedicated to being the best. RHD Plumbing now offers complete bathroom and kitchen remodeling, the best plumbers, and everything else you need to finish your dream project. For your home or business, get the job done right the first time, with no surprises, with the reliable, honest, and dedicated plumbing professionals of RHD Plumbing. Proud partner of the Green Bay Packers. When you need a vehicle you can count on, trust Toyota to be here for you. Many Toyota service centers are open to help keep your vehicle in top shape and may even offer no-contact vehicle drop-off. If you need a new vehicle, Toyota is offering 0% financing for 60 months and attractive leases on our most popular Toyotas. You can even shop and buy online from the comfort of your home. It's our promise to you, today and tomorrow. Toyota.
next live before Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company answers your plant and garden questions. And the director of the Marquette Law School poll, Charles Franklin, will be here to analyze the latest numbers. It's the first ever Coaches vs. Cancer Wisconsin Virtual Gala, Wednesday, May 20th at 7 p.m. An auction and inspiring program, all from the comfort and safety of home. Register now at Coaches vs. Cancer, Wisconsin.org. We have new video this half hour and it's bound to put a smile on your face. For a few minutes in San Jose, California, it looked like goats were taking over the town. This is great. Check it out. <laughs> Okay, a local homeowners association in San Jose <laughs> will occasionally bring in goats to eat the dead grass on the hillside, but this time around, <laughs> the goats knocked over an electric fence and took a leisurely <laughs> stroll through the streets. So neighbors had to open up a side gate and corral the goats back to where they were supposed to be. No one was to hurt. Uh, the goats did <laughs> cause some minor damage to one yard. <laughs> I could you this imagine? is going to be all of us once we can actually get out of our homes. <laughs> For real, a live look at the newsroom doors flying open and all of us running to the We're bars free. and restaurants. We're free. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> That would freak me out if I stepped out of my front door in the morning and saw that. I'm a big fan. I love animals. I could live in a neighborhood like that. That's great video. <laughs> great true. video. They'll eat anything. They would have eaten any flower or anything in their path. Well, we have a pretty nice forecast coming up for the day today. Sunshine already across southern Wisconsin. Skies are mostly clear this morning. Our temperatures are starting out. On the chilly side, once again, we're in the 30s in many spots. Weather track showing you that there are just a few high level cirrus clouds starting to spill into the state from the west. Clouds are expected to thicken up through the day today. There's our current temperatures 30 in Camp Douglas, 40 now in the Dells, and even 41 in Mineral Point. Temps should warm pretty quickly this morning, then not quite as quickly later on this afternoon as clouds roll in. Highs will be in the lower 60s. Looks like our chances for rain are going to hold off until later on tonight. High temperature trend definitely going upward. We're still on track to go above normal as we head into next week with highs in the 80s. All right, Hattie, thank you. We are continuing to thank essential workers in our community here on News 3 Now this morning. Today we're thanking Abby. Her neighbor submitted this photo to us saying Abby is an amazing nurse in Wauwatosa. She's a great neighbor and a better nurse. Abby, thank you for everything you're doing to keep our community healthy and safe. Coming up in the morning sprint, we're tracking the latest developments on a bus crash that happened overnight. But first, it's Wednesday, March 13th. We want to say happy birthday to Landon and all the kids turning three today. Thanks for celebrating with us here on News 3 Now this morning. Download the Channel 3000 First Warm Weather app today. Get a great deal on the Kubota L-Series tractor. Built upon a solid foundation of cast iron and steel, the Kubota L-Series tractor is the number one selling compact tractor in the U.S. for over 10 years. With a powerful Kubota diesel engine and dependable gear or HST transmission, it's ready to take on your toughest projects. Right now, get the L2501 HST for payments as low as $149 a month. In these uncertain times, it has never been more important to maintain a clean home or business. We are prepared to get your space back to clean and healthy again. We've added a new EPA-registered cleaner that disinfects hard surfaces and deep cleans carpet, rugs, and upholstery. Remember, we disinfect our equipment after every job and disinfect our vehicles daily. We believe in doing things the right way. That's why we've been your trusted partner in clean for over 70 years. Through all the world events since 1936, Culligan Water has continued to provide better, safer water with our filtration systems for homes and businesses. These days, as a designated essential business, Culligan's water professionals are standing by ready to help. We're back. We got that to go food. Oh, good. What a treat after a long week and no cleanup. When you can't dine in, then get it to go and support our restaurants during Madison Magazine's Restaurant Week to Go. Two weeks of fabulous to-go menus you'll love. Visit madisonmagazine.com for details and menus. Restaurant Week to Go, presented by Kesnick's. Food service design, equipment, and supplies. I guess there is still cleanup to do. Check out Steinhoffel's virtual shopping experience. We provide you with a 360-degree view of our most popular products. So spin all of the furniture you want. 
Plus, browse through our product videos to see and learn more about our best sellers. We also have sale associates ready to help through phone, email, or our online chat feature. And get your online order shipped free to your curb, driveway, or garage. Shop online with confidence at Steinhoffels.com. This is our home. We've never seen it look quite like this. But there's no mistaking it. And it's our job to protect it. Because the best people to fight for our communities are those within them. So if you've just bought a Volkswagen or we're thinking of buying sometime soon, we're here to help with the community-driven promise. of Jingris, Thompson, and Walks are here to support our community through this challenging time. We thank everyone bringing invaluable services to our neighbors. The Jingris, Thompson, and Walks team remains available to assist in any way. A sale like never before, on now at Fry Construction. Welcome back at 649, time for the morning sprint. We start with some breaking news from overnight. Joe Biden is the projected winner of Nebraska's primary. CBS News estimates the former VP picked up at least another 20 delegates out of the 33 upper grabs. That brings him just over 500 delegates away from clinching the nomination. Voters showed up in person at the polls, even though the state encouraged voters to send their ballots in by mail. Voters in Wisconsin also went to the polls, voting in a special election to fill former Representative Sean Duffy's seat. Republican State Senator Tom Tiffany easily won over Democrat Trisha Zunker. Tiffany is backed by President Trump, who won the 7th Congressional District by 20% in 2016. That was Wisconsin's second election in the state during the coronavirus pandemic. Voting could look a lot different this November. A new poll shows most Wisconsinites want voting to stay the same as it was in the past two elections. A new Marquette Law School poll shows 57% of registered voters say it's important to have in-person voting along with a vote by mail option. 36% want the election to be done entirely by mail. As far as how people think they will vote personally, well, 43% say they'll vote absentee by mail, 39% plan to vote in person on election day, and 11% will vote early in person. When it comes to who voters are backing, it's a close race. Joe Biden still holds a 3% lead over President Trump, 48 to 45%, but that is within the poll's margin of error of 4%. Biden has an advantage over Trump among the youngest voters between 18 and 29 years old and the oldest voters, 60 year older. Folks who are 30 to 59 favor Trump. If you still haven't received your stimulus check and want it to be deposited into your bank account, you'll have to visit the IRS's website today to check some things. So at 11 o'clock our time this morning, the agency will start prepping millions of files for paper checks. Those checks should start arriving in mailboxes between late May and into June. The government, though, cannot provide direct deposits once this process is started. So if you want that direct deposit, go to the Get My Payment tool on the IRS website and make sure your information is correct. Your stimulus check is tax-free and it won't impact any refunds you could be owed. CNN reports if you end up making more than the threshold this year, you won't have to return the stimulus money. And if you don't qualify based on your previous earnings but end up making below the threshold this year, you'll get your stimulus payment when you file for your 2020 return. City of Janesville posting its highest unemployment rate since the 2008 recession. It's 10% right now. That's about 7% higher compared to last Last year, which was at a record low of 3%. National market analyst Money Geek's latest study suggests the unemployment rate in Rock County could get as high as 26%, but local economy experts say that's very unlikely. For millions of Americans out of work right now, withdrawing money from their retirement accounts might feel like the only option, but before anyone does that, you're supposed to ask yourself five questions. Ask yourself if the expenses you'll cover with the money are both immediate and essential. If they are, ask yourself if you have any other money to use first. Lots of people have emergency savings or rainy day funds. This is the time to use those savings. Also consider all of your options, taking out a loan, refinancing your house, renegotiating your rent. The bottom line, don't withdraw money from your 401k unless you absolutely have to. A report from Vanguard shows that if you take out $10,000 today, you're stealing from what could have become more than $57,000 in 30 years. Leah. 
Thank you, Christina. Members of the U.S. House are expected to vote on a $3 trillion stimulus bill later this week. The legislation provides funding for state and local governments, coronavirus testing, and a new round of direct payments to Americans. But not everybody is behind the so-called HEROES Act. Senate Republicans warned the bill would be dead on arrival, while progressive Democrats are frustrated it doesn't include recurring monthly payments. Transit agencies hope to get $33 billion of that money. Transit authority leaders from five states tell Politico. Transportation plays a key role in fighting the pandemic and will be a big part of the nation's eventual economic recovery. New York is one of those states. Ridership on subways in New York City is down right now 92%, and ridership for the Long Island Railroad is down 97 Breaking overnight, four people are in the hospital being treated for minor injuries this morning after their car hit a Madison Metro bus. Police say the bus was hit so hard that it went off the road and hit a retaining wall on Gammon Road near Westtown Mall. This all happened just before 11 o'clock last night. The bus driver was treated for minor injuries. The driver of the SUV is processed under suspicion of an OWI and is charged with several traffic violations. Help for Wisconsin farmers and ag industries could come as soon as today. Wisconsin is slated to get almost $2 billion of federal money from the CARES Act to help with the state's COVID-19 response. Governor Evers is expected to release his plans for that money later this week. He would not give a specific dollar amount, but he did say more help will have to come from the federal government. If you're spending more on groceries, this could be a reason. The Labor Department says prices of eggs, meats, and cereals shot up by the most in nearly 50 years. Eggs are up the most by 16%. Grocery stores seem to be alone in the price increases. Most industries saw declines last month. Los Angeles County's stay-at-home order could last through most of the summer. The public health director there says the order will, with all certainty, be extended. How long the order lasts, though, depends on conditions. The Los Angeles Times reports restrictions will be gradually relaxed under a five-step plan. The county is the epicenter of the coronavirus in California, with more than 1,300 deaths. The nation's largest four-year public university system will keep classes online in the fall. Classes at California State University's 23 campuses will be canceled for the upcoming semester with almost all classes happening virtually. According to the New York Times, this is the most sweeping sign of the long-term impact the virus will have on higher education in the U.S. UW-Madison says they'll announce their plans sometime this summer. Some area students will be returning to campus this semester to finish their hands-on programs. The State Journal reports Madison College will come back to campus next week to finish coursework needed for graduation. That includes programs in welding, diesel engine maintenance, and agricultural mechanics. Students will be required to wear a face mask inside buildings, and class sizes will be reduced to no more than eight students and one instructor. Just about 6.56 if you're Heading out this morning across Madison, no major issues. A few delays popping up near downtown, but other than that, no crashes to report. That's your first warn traffic. And you'll need your sunglasses for the morning. We have clear skies. Sun is up early today. A nice start to the day. A little chilly with that frost advisory still in effect until 8 o'clock for parts of the area. Temperatures will climb through the 30s and 40s today. Back to highs in the low 60s this afternoon. We'll be a little breezy with that southeasterly wind up to 20 miles per hour. Rain moves in late today. You can see the probability of precipitation ramping up here in southern Wisconsin after 7 p.m. Thanks, Addie, and thank you for watching, everybody. We'll be back here tomorrow.